Hello everyone and thank you for watching this short video um, about one aspect of narcissism, low hanging fruit. This is my, ugh, I'm still practicing with these vid with this video so I have got some um, notes so that I didn't go off key because I will ramble on and probably go on to another subject so I'm trying to discipline myself and um, stick to what the topic is today. Um, my name is Sue and I'm a survivor of psychological and physical abuse. I fight CP CPTSD every day and I'm an active campaigner to educate everyone about narcissist personality disorder. I'm also actively petitioning for the United Kingdom Controlling and Coercive Act 2015 to be amended and for mental health professionals, police and court judges to become educationally aware of narcissist traits. So the topic today is narcissists and low hanging fruit. I'm aware the lighting is um, a little bit dodgy, um, but um, at the end of the day it's about what what I've got to say. So um, we'll see if I can do something about that in future videos. So what does it, it mean when we refer to narcissists and low-hanging fruit? Fruit. It's when the narcissist is looking for its new victim, target, supply. These are familiar terms used by narcissist survivors. Um, they can quickly and easily pick their next victim. Narcissists work in survivor mode always. They need to find someone quickly to love bomb. And the sooner they can pick and secure their new supply, the sooner they can use, manipulate and control them to get what they want fast. Narcissists must get what they want by any means necessary because they operate out of survival mode. Everything they do is in the name of survival. Because of the disorder, narcissists did not develop cognitive attributes like regular people, you and I. The nature of the disorder means they can never be happy and content with what they have. They have to sabotage relationships. The, diso the disorder will never allow them to operate in a stable capacity for too long. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just lost my third note. So in order to, to survive, they've learned how to pick and select their prey. As narcissists age, they panic pick because they've lost some of the pulling power that they once had. Hence the term low hanging fruit. They will resort to the first person they know that they can get and keep at low level importance on the basis for their survival only. It's about what they can get out of you so they can survive. Once they know they've got you, they can control you. Once your feelings are affected through rapid love bombing, you are emotionally involved. You will now be used, manipulated and controlled. Narcissists don't feel the effects of damage they do to other people. They don't play by the normal rules of courtship. They're not interested in building and maintaining relationships. You are chosen specifically for, a, for maladaptive, toxic survival. They will always be unsuspect a unsuspecting victim for a narcissist. And it's up to you, especially if you've been tipped off or have some knowledge of narcissist abuse, to shield yourself in knowledge of narcissist personality disorder. I mean, they will always, within days, weeks, or even months, if they haven't already lined um, a new victim up, they will secure a new relationship because they can't live alone. 
they sabotage absolutely everything because of the disorder. And they will pick. Sometimes it could be any sex, um, at any age, any type. If they think that they can manipulate you quickly into a relationship, then you will be the next target. Anyway, I'm going to end this this um, video now. Um, if you're not sure of anything that I've said or you want me to elaborate more, then just leave a comment down below after this video and um, we can discuss it then. Bye for now.